Hello everybody, my name is Wim Reaper and welcome to the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. So this episode I said we were going to be moving and Rita will be giving birth to her, I don't know, seventh <laughs> child in the household. We're really hoping it's a girl. It's going to be the daughter or son of Duane Tala. So that's really exciting. I didn't get any name suggestions but I do have a couple in mind so that should be okay. But this episode, we're hoping to also move out Alex and Nathan, who are basically ready to go. They just have to go to school. Uh, Nathan should go to bed, though. He's real tired, and I'm hoping Alex isn't in too bad a mood. But they really don't need to even work hard today. Now, I did say we were going to move this episode, and I, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, you guys. Just because I double-checked the price of the house and how much money we have, and we're about 5,000 simoleons off. There are ways that I can make the house cheaper, but um, I will still probably have to at least grind for another episode before we have enough money. So I'm really sorry for saying we would get to that this episode, but we will be doing still a lot of stuff. So I'm really excited for that and I hope that you guys are too. Basically right now everyone is just sleeping up. It is 5.30 in the morning, but Oleander's having a little bit of a play on the dollhouse. His imagination skill has gone up so fast. He's almost level 3, so I'm super duper proud of him. I also did redo his and Lysander's outfits. So Lysander is kind of like all pink colors and Oleander's all purple. I thought that was kind of cute. Or sorry, it's the other way around. Lysander is purple and Oleander is pink. Let's just break those stupid gender color stereotypes. I think it's actually adorable when guys wear pink. I think even some of Nathan's outfits are pink, but you just haven't seen them yet. But anyhow, there's not super duper much going on right now, so I think I will cut to the morning. It is just about school time, and these two are just having a nice little chat together. They're so cute, and they're actually best friends forever already. I'm gonna get Rita to get up and make the birthday cake for these two because there's basically no way they aren't aging up and then I think we'll get her to do this painting. I think she just got into third trimester. Oh, not quite, but she will definitely give birth this episode. And yeah, we're just having a little nice chat between brothers before school, getting each other's social need up. And I just love these two. I'm kind of sad that they're going to have to move out, but we do want Rita to have as many kids as possible. So we're going to just probably move them out. Uh, I don't know if we'll move them out right, right away, but by the end of the episode for sure. Oh, and Oleander got thinking level two. That's perfect. I think I'm going to get Oleander to work on the blocks then. Yeah, there we go. I love Rita's new outfit, but at the same time, it makes her look like she's not wearing any pants, and it always freaks me out. So I might have to change the color. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyhow, these two are off to school. We're just going to let them work normally since they're already uh, basically in range to age up. They just um, aren't quite there. I don't know why we're getting a ton of uh, these pop-ups. I think we've already got them before, but you know... Like, it's fine. She can add the candles to that, and then she really needs to go to the bathroom. So I don't know if I want to show a ton of taking care of toddlers this episode, since that was basically the entire last episode. But I will uh, maybe show her, like, finishing this painting up and stuff. Just some more novel stuff we don't usually do. So Rita's just finishing up this painting of the trees. I think it's such a beautiful painting. Our bills also came in, which is kind of disappointing. They're like over 2,000 simoleons, so that'll put us back quite a bit. But I'm thinking maybe we can get away without paying them for a little bit. Uh, just until- wait a minute. Did I say create a copy? I don't want that. Uh, just until we can move out. Okay, so Alex is gonna get a character trait. We just want his responsibility to be in range. So um, we're gonna say he should fail the quiz. That makes sense to me. And now we're gonna sell it, not create a copy. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're just gonna not pay the bills for a little bit. Also, I realize the kids are still at home today. Gil just got his homework done. Or did Finn get his homework done? Which one of them is which? Okay, he got his homework 75% done and he doesn't have his homework done yet. 
So I think we'll get him to work on it. Just get that over with. And then those two can have some fun later. Uh, go all out with a presentation. You got a performance gain. That's pretty good. But yeah, I think we should get Rita to potty train either Lysander or Oleander. Uh, probably Oleander. He was going to go to the potty on his own anyway, so we might as well potty train him. And then we can give him a bath after, I think. So Rita is just going to give little Lysander a bubble bath. That's super cute. He really needs a bath too. And then I think she could probably go stand to potty train him after, but she's getting tired. Oh, Carlotta is calling. She wants to give a friend a number, but I think we're going to say no. We don't want too many people in our lives. We're already really busy as it is. But we'll set that up. And then the kids are kind of stuck for things to do because it's raining out. It's a thunderstorm. And the craft table, like everything that's like thinking skill is either destroyed or out in the rain. I think I might move this inside actually because uh, Gil wants to get up his thinking skill. I believe it's Gil. Is it Finn? Their hair is too similar. I should have made it different. <laughs> I'm going to put this on the dance floor. I d it just doesn't matter. I'll try to see which one is which. Gil has spiky hair. Finn has like the half faux hawk. Okay, so it's Finn who wants the thinking skill. So we'll get him to go down here and play with that. And then Gil he's getting some food but like we should get him to do his homework he just started it and he wants to get up his art uh, or creative skill so i think that would be very good for him and i wonder yeah rita's gonna potty train lysander now so that's going really well i love lysander's everyday outfit it's just super cute he's just adorable but yeah i'm really curious to see if he ages up to look at all like cletus um, he or Oleander for that matter because um, yeah they're both goths technically they're the sons of Alexander goth so yeah I think that'll be interesting to see when they age up Rita is in her third trimester now so she should give birth around like 3 a.m. maybe maybe not maybe more around 8 a.m. but yeah we have a little bit left in the school day I'm gonna check their performance i think nathan okay he's just doing normal and he can switch to normal so they're both gonna graduate today which is super duper exciting okay it's the kids are home alex got his grade up and nathan stole a poster okay that's actually something good for once but i mean like stealing is bad but you know and he got his grades up too so these two are ready to age up right away but they're both in horrible moods uh i'm gonna let them sleep before they pass out because that's just not fun you know and we don't want to move them out right right away i think they can help out with the toddlers and stuff so i think that would just be good for them to stick around just a tiny bit longer and then they can age up i mean like i guess we can still age them up without moving out but like they can be in a good mood for their birthday maybe we can invite over um, who are they close to? Probably Muffin and Bagel the most. So we could invite over Muffin and Bagel for the birthday. And Finn, I don't know if he got his homework done. I think it might be a glitch because it says here that he can't do anything. Except it says 75% done on that menu. That's not a big deal though. And Gil is in a good mood just getting his homework done. So I'm really happy with how this is going. They both got a skill to level two, not the correct skill, mind you, but I don't really care. At least I'll be able to get up their performance when they need to. So that's really fun. Rhea is just having a little snooze. And then I just got Lysander to work on his thinking and his motor skill a tiny bit, but he's too tired now. So not much is happening for the moment. Okay, it is 7 p.m. and while these two are still in a pretty bad mood, I think it's about time that they age up. I think that it's just going to get too late otherwise, so we're just going to invite over Muffin and Bagel. It's not going to be a big deal. I guess we could invite over the triplets. Hmm. Yeah, we could see the triplets again. I, <laughs> It's going to get laggy because of all the people, but... I think it'll be fun to see everyone again, all the girls and boy, so <laughs> that'll be fun. Um, 
I guess we did have quite a few girls in a row now that I think about it. We just haven't had any recently. For those of you who ha are new or just like have missed a few episodes, we really need to have a girl kid because Rita is going to become an elder in seven days. So that's pretty scary. And if there's no heiress to continue the legacy, then you technically fail the challenge. So yeah, we really, really need a girl baby. That's why I'm hoping we give birth to a little girl this episode, but we shall see. If we move out uh, Nathan and Alex as well, like a little bit earlier in the episode, it's possible we'll have twins or triplets. So that might be cool. Let's uh, tell a dramatic story to our sister. <laughs> She's kind of in a bad mood, it looks like. It's just so thunderstormy right now. And it looks like, yeah, Muffin and Bagel and the rest of the triplets are all here. There's some also some random guy outside. I'm gonna have Nathan go and have a little bit of a, I don't know. Yeah, let's hug Muffin. I think that would be adorable. Aww. <laughs> That's so cute. Just have a little nice moment with his sister. What is it saying to me here? Oh, he got the charisma skill. Okay, very nice. Well, you're gonna go ahead and blow out the candles, Nathan. I don't even remember what his traits are. I just gotta make sure he's in range. Yeah, he's in range for responsibility. Okay, so he's a lazy kleptomaniac <laughs> who wants to be a super parent. So that's pretty cool. Why don't you just go ahead and blow out those candles? But okay, Nathan gets one final trait. He's an insider. Okay, that's kind of cute. He dresses like he would be kind of like an insider type guy. So you know what? I'm happy with that. That suits him. I'm gonna get uh, him to add candles before anyone eats the cake. And then we'll have Alex come and age up. And I don't think we'll need the cake for a little bit, so I'll let them eat it after Alex comes over. Okay, it's your turn. Go and make a wish. Wow, look how many people are here to celebrate. Dang. These two are popular. Like, these two are fun to play with, you guys. I'm so sad that they had to go so soon. Is he coming? I don't know if he is. Here he comes. He's in a bad mood, but you know what? It's okay. All of his friends are here. Well, his family. <laughs> his family are his friends. <laughs> yeah, celebrate. Gil, I think. See, those two are so identical. I can always just get them mixed up 100% of the time. And Rita just came along and blocked my nice screenshot. But you know what? It's fine. Okay, Alex aged into a music lover. Wow, you guys. His skill is violin and his aspiration is to be a musical genius. So I don't think there's such a thing as a more fitting trait for him. So I am super duper happy with him aging up like that. Everyone sent him a gift. That's very, very nice of them. But yeah. Oh, and a character value popped up. I don't know if we've given Gil any character advice. I think Finn is going to do responsibility. Maybe he should have empathy. Eating dirt is fun. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, well, that's fun. Uh, I think what we'll do is we will get these two to move out uh, after they've signed up for university. Because I feel like these two would want to go to uni. You know, like, I think Nathan would be kind of about the party life, and Alex would definitely want to, like, hone his musical prowess. So, they're gonna go ahead and apply to universities. We're not gonna do scholarships for them or anything. Oh, Bagel. Can you please not? <laughs> um, I don't know what to say about this, but it looks like a Muffin might be flirting with Bagel? That's a bit of an issue. Maybe she's just in a flirty mood. Let's just say she's in a flirty mood, so she's acting weird. That's just really strange. You know what? Let's just not even think about that. This is horrible. Like, why? Stop it, Muffin. <laughs> you know what? If you're gonna be like that, then get out. Just, no. I'm asking her to leave. This is just way too weird. Yeah, okay, bye. Bye. Okay, yeah, Luna, you were good. I didn't even see you. Okay, thank you, Lily. But, like, Muffin, seriously leave <laughs> like you are making us so uncomfortable maybe when we go and play in muffin and bagel's household which i really want to do by the way we should move muffin or bagel out and just have muffin and ishan because yeah that's some pretty suspicious activity there muffin what the heck but you know 
I think that, uh, yeah, it's about time to move these two out. They're in a bad mood, but you know, we're just not going to worry about it. They can get in a good mood when they get home to their new place. So they're definitely going to be moved out together. I don't know exactly where we'll move them to. Probably Brightchester. They could even go like live in a dorm or something. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that real quick now. Okay, you guys. So what I did actually is I moved in Alex and Nathan with Angela and Lilith Pleasant in Brightchester. Now, they're adults, but I think it would be really cute if like the two ginger twins married the two other ginger twins and i think lilith and nathan would be a really good match and angela and alex would be a really good match so like wow i think maybe going and playing in their household would actually be really interesting especially seeing like the genetics if they ever had grandkids but that's planning really really far in advance you guys i don't even know if they're gonna get together with the other twins <laughs> rita's just dancing right now but i think she should go maybe weed this just because like we have the apple tree we should at least take care of that these plants are all dying anyway <laughs> but um yeah she can just stop dancing maybe and then she kind of needs to continue writing her book so we can get enough money to move out because I just want to get out of here already. I know like it's not a bad house. It's just I'm so, so bored of it. I like don't even know what to do anymore. But oh, Gil got motor level two. I'm going to see if Finn can maybe go down and get some uh, motor or not motor. Uh. What is it? Mental skill from this. I didn't think it should give that. It wasn't doing it last time though, but we'll see. And as for Gil, yeah, he can just stay down here and chat with his brother. Lysander and Oleander are both having a little bit of food. And then uh, they're kind of in a bad mood, but I'm going to try to get Lysander at least to work on skills because look how fast Oleander got his skills up. That's insane. As in Lysander though, he's like quite far behind. So I think we could get him to just like babble at the bear a little. Maybe that'll get it up enough. He should probably talk to like Rita or something though. Like, it is only about two hours, I think, until Rita should be giving birth. So I am super duper excited. I'm just gonna get her to give Oleander a bubble bath who's needed it for a very long time. So that way he can be ready to work on his skills a little bit. He's really, really ahead, like I said, but his brother is catching up a tiny bit. He doesn't have anything to level 3 yet though, but yeah, these two, they're in a pretty dang good mood as well. So I think they're gonna have a good day at school today. It's gonna be their first day at school today actually, which is exciting for them. But I'm just super pumped to see if Rita- what is with the bath? Ew. Oh, that's so gross. I don't like that. Okay, I'm really pumped to see if Rita's gonna have a girl or if she'll have twins or triplets or what, because it is a possibility now that there's room in the household for even triplets. I don't really want triplets, to be honest with you, but um, that would be kind of interesting to see if it happened that close together. Rita is just working away on her book a little bit while she's waiting to give birth. The kids just went off to school and they're both working hard, so that's awesome. I hope that we do get a couple calls to try to improve their character values a little bit. But yeah, we're basically just waiting now until we can give birth. And I think we're gonna just... Oh, uh, we can go to the hospital. Yeah, we're gonna go to the hospital this time for a change of scenery. That We've kind of been stuck in the house for... A little while now in this challenge it's finally not thunderstorming it's just raining but it's still it's raining you know it's kind of garbage but whatever we're still doing okay so we're waiting for her to give birth she wants to publish a book so I hope she finishes this except she keeps <laughs> having to be interrupted by her needs because they're just falling so fast lately like that so hopefully she gets it done but I don't know that she will uh, also, it looks like Oleander is awake. He could probably stand to stack some blocks on his own. It's okay. Your mom is just too busy. Sorry about that. And Rita just went into labor. I was kind of counting on that happening, to be honest with you. But, you know, it's time to send her to the hospital. So I'm just going to click have baby at hospital. Hey, yeah. So, um, uh, as you can see, we're still at the house. Um... 
And uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, the babies are already born. Um, I done goofed. I I thought I wasn't recording, so I pressed record, and you know that always turns out well. So the drama has been completely destroyed. Um, I'm a little bit fuming, but you know it's okay. It's okay. It wasn't like that was the best recording I've ever done or anything, but but it totally was. But that's besides the point, you know. Anyhow, as you can see, we've had Nando. And we've also had another twin baby. So Nando's a boy, and guess what? <laughs> Ty is also a boy. So we have two more boys. Uh, also, I took the liberty of counting up how many boys versus how many girls we have had in the entirety of this challenge. And I believe there are 17 boys and six, maybe seven girls. Let me just double check. Seven girls, 17 boys and seven girls the whole challenge so yeah the suspense gone out the window but you know what here they are uh obviously next episode <laughs> we're gonna be going out uh to get another donor because yeah we kind of need a girl really really bad and at this point i'm kind of questioning whether rita has it in her to have a girl ever but anyhow Donor suggestions in the comments, please. That would be wonderful. Uh, also, name suggestions. Uh, please like and subscribe. One like equals one prayer for my sanity after <laughs> after um, this uh, unfortunate episode, to say the least. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next part. Goodbye!